Hi friends, today I'm going to be fixing this broken glass figurine. It has thin pieces that are broken, thicker pieces, and even some missing pieces. I'm going to clean it first using alcohol to make sure the glue sticks. I'm using Loctite's new glass glue. It's super glue just for glass, so it works even better than the regular super glue would. I'm using a piece of mirror here to test it out first since I plan on replacing the mirror anyway. And since it worked so well, I went straight on ahead and started working on the wing. It has thicker pieces, so I figured it would be a good place to start. It worked well, so I moved on to the thinner pieces. I was really surprised that as soon as I kind of found where exactly it fit, it kind of clicked into place and held itself up. It looks pretty good. The wings were pretty easy to attach. I just kind of put them in place, hold them, wait till they set, and then move on to the next part. The trickier part was the sign. Now the left side was easy to do because I still had that piece but the right side was missing a piece. So I'm going to be using a bit of a glass bead chip. Um, since it's also made from glass, I can attach it using the Loctite glue. It's gonna be a good base for us to work with. I'll let that dry while we're working on this part, which is missing pieces from the part of the dress. I'm gonna put a piece of tape on the inside and that's going to end up holding our resin. I mean, this is just regular casting resin. But I mix together thoroughly and then I'm going to let it sit for long enough until it's able to hold onto my stick. That way I can position it freely without it running everywhere and I can do this whole section here and fill in the parts of missing glass. This is the next morning. It looks pretty good where it's filled in those places and I've done it on the wing as well with the same method of tape and resin. I can pull off the tape and the resin is still just soft enough that I can use scissors to get it into just the right shape to fix that part that had broken off. I'm going to be using Mod Podge and white acrylic paint to be able to make this sort of frosted glass look. I'm gonna be using a piece of plastic to test it out. It looks good so I can go straight to it and paint onto the chip of the wing and on the inside of the dress that needs that frosted glass look. Once that's finished, I can go ahead and get some amazing goop craft glue this is what I'm going to be using to attach the sign to the right part where it was broken off when there was no replacement piece. It's very dimensional glue, so it can kind of fill in all those gaps. It takes a while to set and even stays a little bit soft, but it looks good and I'll be able to, you see at the top here where it looks a little lumpy, I'll be able to cover that up using resin. So I do the same thing where I let it set long enough that I can mold it easily and it's not gonna to drip too much. And it really does end up looking a lot like glass. It covers that up and looks nice. Once everything's set, I can use gold paint to fix those places where it had broken off before. And I'm going to make sure that the right side that had broken off before matches the left side. Next, I'm going to replace the broken mirror base with this compact that I got for a dollar and I can just pull the piece out and use that as my new base. I'm gonna glue it to the base using the Amazing Goop since again, it's nice and dimensional and it's gonna hold it up and be clear so that you won't see it. It won't frost your glass or anything. I wanted to add another base though. So here's a glass paperweight that I got. It has a Christmas tree on it. So since it's frosted glass, I'll be able to cover that up using a clear nail polish. It fills in all the gaps so that you can't see the tree looks great as a base though. And here it is. I think it worked pretty well and I hope this was helpful for your projects too.